while. It has been a while. I think close to three years or maybe already three years. I do not know. But I want to say sorry, but I'm not really sorry. I went through a very busy time in my life where I did not have the time for YouTube anymore. And I was just that it does like a hobby. So why pursue a hobby that is causing you pain? But anyway, we here we are back again with just a random art video I, i'm not promising i'm posting frequently i don't have a schedule i don't have i'm not planning on having a schedule but for now i just wanted to share with you guys this painting that i painted it is of one of my friends and um, he commissioned me to do a self portrait in the style of those old army um portraits and i thought it was quite cool and exciting challenge because there's a lot of things in this challenge that i have never done before like i've never painted no i lie i have painted a face but like a very distorted face and then one or two others and it's not really something that i'm comfortable with especially ears and noses they're so difficult to paint i generally paint hands but i was very excited for the opportunity to try out some things that i haven't done before try out a style that i haven't done before i normally paint i don't want to say realistic but more realistic i tend to uh, not over blend i mean there's no over blending but i tend to blend more than i want to blend i want to paint a little bit more expressive expressive no whatever you, that expressive i can't just think of the right word now but anyway and um, less realistic but i always tend to then overblend it and then it ends up being more realistic so i really 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 press myself not to overblend and to leave it as it is and not to fiddle with it too much like if the paint goes down it's down not really layering sort of there's one coat per color that type of style um here you can see me starting to paint the gold <laughs> what a color that i've never painted before i mean in your head well it broke my brain to think how do you paint gold because it's a shiny thing that you're painting um and i didn't obviously use metallic paint i use it used oil paint as that's what i'm used to so it was quite interesting like doing this thing that i've never done before um very stressful i probably put off this painting for months just because i knew i had to paint gold and i was so scared of painting gold but here we are painting the gold and i don't want to toot my own horn but i do think it looks like gold i'm quite happy with how my gold turned out um I also got to paint in some colors that I'm not used to. Um so that was quite cool. Like you can see the background is pink. I wanted to try like not an underpainting but where you like wash the your canvas with a different color because then it's less scary to put the paint down. I wanted to test that theory and like having it peek out here and there as like a pop of color and I quite enjoyed it. It's not really the color I wanted it. I wanted to be a more vibrant pink or like a vibrant orange. And we end up with this so we'll adjust it a little bit more here i am starting to paint the silver which is also again something i haven't done before painting shiny objects i mean i normally paint hands there's nothing shiny about a hand it's skin or like i paint a hand with bugs in it or i've painted water once or twice but more like the the suggestion of water so it wasn't really painting water what is also something i would really like to fiddle with to try and figure out how to paint the reflection of water and things like that but yeah this was a really really exciting challenge oh oh and here you can see me sort of painting hair i've also never painted hair before i did a lot of um research meaning you should watch youtube videos um on how do you paint hair because it's quite a scary thing because you want to like you always lean towards wanting to paint each strand of hair but that's just not possible and it's going to look like silly so yeah i watched a lot of youtube videos on how to paint hair and they said you sort of just paint big shapes and then put highlights or shadows as little or like smaller shapes in it so that's what we did um initially the hair was a little bit darker than i wanted it to be and i think later i went in and i made a lighter i can't remember now but because the guy has blonde hair that's not blonde hair but anyway this was yeah really fun a lot of fun because it was the first painting that like big scale painting and oil painting that i've done in like a good six years because the last time i properly painted oil paint was
was back in school. I lie. There was once in like my five years of studying that I actually sat down and painted an oil painting, but it was so small oil painting, and that that the the previous time was actually my first time painting on canvas again in like a lot of years because my whole matric year and half of my grade eleven year of school, I painted on like objects and not really canvas. So that was also a very interesting experience painting on canvas again um, although yeah this was my second time painting on canvas again but yeah here I'm just putting up all the final touches trying to make some of the badges look pretty painting the edges and yeah overall I would say it was so much fun a very nice experience here is some final shots of the patchy shorts I'm um, showing you close-ups of the textures and the like details and like a you can see a tiger i tried doing like the badges of things that he is interested in don't know if it was very successful but i enjoyed it so yeah thank you for watching i hope